Well, hello everyone, it's me, Daniel with Website Candy, and I know most of you guys subscribe to this channel for Apple tips and Photoshop. So here's an Apple tip today. Uh, one thing that is really cool, one thing that I just noticed today, I think it rolled out today, I'm gonna check these settings to see if today was the emancipation of the live feed Periscope type of thing on Facebook. But right over here, you can see with Facebook, I'm using the iPhone 6S Plus, and um, they have the um, take a photo, video, upload, photo, video, or you can actually go write a post. However, uh, I'm sh hopefully they will put it in there one day to where you can just do it right on your screen really quickly. However, uh, as of right now, you actually have to go all the way into the application, which is not that big a deal. But if you come over here and you touch inside here, you're going to see new video and share live uh, video, new record, sorry, new record and share live video. So right here we can go live. I'm going to click this right here and it's going to give us a little bit of a, I don't want to be seen on camera right now. So um, it's capture and share the moment as it happens after you're finished your video will stay on your timeline. So you can delete it if you want to, you can flip it around if you want to, uh, but I'm going to point this out my window here and I can flip my camera around so I can continue and go right over here and it says describe your live feed and then you can select who you want to uh, go live with. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do it um, only me for now as a test here. I don't want my friends to get all excited that I'm live. I'm gonna say test the waters. Okay, so I'm testing the waters here and I'm going to hit go live and you see you're going to get a three second countdown and I'm just pointing this out the window here, but it's live, you know, and when people comment, as you can see, it will appear down there at the bottom. So this is pretty cool. You know, Facebook has gotten a game um, where you can actually, you know, go live via Facebook. It's really cool, really interactive. So, you know, a lot of times I am on Facebook. I am just kind of scrolling around and it's like, you know, one thing that I do quite a bit of is I do collapse a lot of posts on Facebook for the simple fact that uh, I've already seen it and it's kind of annoying. It kind of gets on my nerves. That's my live feed right there. And let's go ahead and take a look at that. As you can see, you know, I'm live. Let me get my, uh, so as you can see, here is my live feed via my phone. And here's my live feed right there on Facebook. Works pretty seamless. It's not that much of a lag. I'm going to give it a test here and let's go to the right, to the left and on Facebook to the left, right, left, and it's about a two second delay or so, which is okay. Um, if you do something extremely stupid, I guess you might be able to, you know, collapse it down really quickly, you know, or kill your feed maybe to save yourself, uh, if that's the case or whatever. But that's where I'm live right now. But here is a recording that I did earlier today. And as you can see, it was 25 minutes long. Uh, the recording was pretty clean. Um, I can actually flip it over to HD and watch it in HD, but I had to give it time for the process in regards to um, seeing the live feed right here on uh, Facebook, um, you know, after I recorded it. And it was pretty engaging, you know, 32 comments. I usually don't get that many comments when I post anything on Facebook because my friends don't like me. It's what it is. That's, that's, that's the reason I guess. So, you know, will you be going live? Will you be doing live recordings on Facebook? Um, now that they've offered this new little setting here. So, uh, leave me a comment, let me know, and let me know what you think about the whole live interaction feed on Facebook. All right. Talk to you guys later. Goodbye now.